Carl, you know what I've been thinking? Maybe we have bitten off more than we can chew. You know any painters or carpenters willing to work on a deferred payment schedule? <laughs> yeah, you and me. Now get a paintbrush. Maybe I can find another investor. Tonight. And get enough money so we can hire people to finish this place for the brokers by tomorrow. Oh, you know what I can do when I put my mind to it? <sighs> Simon, if we don't get people very interested in this building, the bank will foreclose and you will lose everything you put into it. I'll get a paintbrush. All right. Hey, why don't you take the trash out first? Just in case one of those brokers comes by tonight, I won't want the place smelling like pizza and beer. All right, man. Mm. Taking out the trash. What are you doing? Oh, just remembering my other incentive for getting this place into shit. <laughs> well, forget it. We made a deal. And we're sticking to it. Now, after the apartment sells... I get to have my way with you. Then again, my weights. No, 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 no. Come on now. Stop. When you stay focused, seducing me is not going to get paint on these walls, oh, is it? Seducing me is not going to get knobs on the doors. But seducing you is going to make me so happy. Oh. You know what would make me so happy? I'm all ears. Mm -hmm. Apartment sales. Money in the bank. All right. Fine. <laughs> oh, um, I want to get this drop cloth over the sofa so we don't splatter on it. Yeah. Can you help me? Please? Absolutely. I'm really sorry. I, I, I just had to do that. I did. Yeah, that goes double for me. We agreed to be hands off until this apartment is finished. Well, I really, I don't have to use my hands. You know that I, I have a couple more moves. One of which could render parts of your anatomy completely useless for a very long time, maybe months. Months? <sighs> oh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm only joking around. How can I work with you when you won't take me seriously? Well, how can I work with you when all I think about is how seriously attracted to you I am? What? Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Why are you so uptight about this? I mean, you're free, you're single. I may be single, but I have three children, so I'm far from free. You've got no one else to take care of but yourself, so maybe that gets you off the hook when it comes to how much cash you have at hand. But for me, it's the difference about whether my children eat or not. Look, Jack gives you such child support. It's being a little dramatic. And you are being supremely self-centered. That's true. You know, it may be worth it for you to watch our dreams go up in smoke for a roll in the hay. Well, it's not worth it for me. I'm not giving up on anything. I'm just taking a small break, that's all. Simon, if you cared about this project at all, if you cared about me at all, just forget it. Get out of the way. I'm not going to go. I'm going to paint, I'm going to hammer, um, I'm going to wallpaper, I'll even hang curtains. I might have to duck out for the occasional cold shower, but I will not make any more moves on you until we are done. Get out of the way, son. Get! Come on. Hi. Hi. Um, s sorry, uh, are you on your way out? I really need to talk to you. Gwen, come on in. Don't, don't be rude, Carly. I like your sister. You are freezing. It's very cold outside. Well, I was about to start work, so if you two need a little privacy, I will... No, it's fine. Uh, I don't mind. You know, I don't want to interrupt your work. All right, then. I'll just be 
Oh, Pete, don't mind me. So, what's, what's up? Um, well, I decided to go ahead and apply for college. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah. And you know that you can stay with me, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Well, oh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't think I'm going to, but, um... What? Well, no, you probably won't. What is it? Well, I, I kind of want to be on my own, you know, with kids my own age, so I applied for on-campus housing. Oh, that's okay. That's a great idea. But can you afford it? I'm working on it right now. Huh. Well, what about your trust fund husband? Well, do you take money from Jack? That's different. Yeah, it is. You've been married to Jack a lot longer than I've been married to Will, and you don't take anything from him, except for the kids. I'm not taking anything from Will. Yeah. I wish I could help you, but I don't have anything, and I won't until this... Uh, no, uh, uh, finished oh, it's fine. And... I'm going to work something out. I still have my job at Crash. I can apply for another loan. It's too late for a grant or a scholarship, but... Oh, well, maybe it's not. Just stay out of this, Simon, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Kai. I just couldn't help her over here, you know? We're in the same room and all that, but, um... It just so happens that I have a scholarship that you might be just right for. Her. You really have a scholarship on me? Yep. Since uh, when? Since... Listen, as Carly knows, I came back into town with quite a bit of money, but before I did, I set up a scholarship for college students who... Couldn't finance their, uh, you know, education. And why would you do something like that? Carly, I'm a generous man. Okay, and how would I uh, apply for the scholarship? Uh, well, before you get too excited, I, you just have to know that the endowment is not big. It's quite small, only a few thousand dollars. That's, uh, that's all that I need for housing. The only problem is, is they want the money right away. Not a problem. Really? Mm hmm Gwen, I think you should apply someplace else. Well, I can, I can do that next year, but, I mean, I really want to move into the dorms now, so if I have a shot... Oh, does man, she, of course, really? she's got a great shot. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, so do I write an essay? Yes, no, 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 just a standard interview. Uh, all right, who would I do that with? With me! <laughs> all right, sit down, let's get started. <laughs> okay. Uh, Simon. What? Look, all she has to do is answer one very simple question. Answer this as honestly and compellingly as possible, okay. the scholarship's all yours. Okay. Okay. You ready? Question. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to go to college? Okay. Um, all right. Well, I always wanted um, to go to college. Uh, growing up, I didn't know anyone who went to college. My mom is pretty uneducated, and I knew that I didn't want to be anything like her. So, um, I, I believe that, um, I do believe that knowledge, um, when used with humanity is the most powerful thing that we can have. And, um, I love learning. And the thought of doing what I love for four years, I can't really think of anything better than that. Well, wow. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> You're good. This <laughs> should cover <laughs> your dorm and a few extra expenses. Uh, wow, are you sure you want to give this to me? Are you sure that the check is good? Yes, I'm sure the check is good. And yes, I am positive I want to give it to you. OK. OK, Gwen. You need to go to the nearest bank uh -huh. right now. Okay. And cash that now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure. Very, thank you. You're, you're very a, much. Excellent candidate. Hurry up. This is amazing. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Come on. <laughs> Why did you do that? I did it for you. If you think giving money to my sister is going to get me to sleep with you... You and your sister are a lot alike. No, we're not, actually. Well, you're both looking for something to count on. She's got school, and you've got this place. 
Kalia, I know how important this place is to you. And I'm not going to mess it up just because I can't keep my hands off you. Gwen and I are not alike, you know. You're wrong about that. She knows. Books. And music. And you know what I know? Men have used them, scammed them, slept with them, married some of them, left them. Loved them? One. Jack's the only one. So, I mean, we could sleep together. Right now, right here, I'm very attracted to you. It'd be good. It'd be incredible. And after? I'd be fine. We'd be fine. But if something happens to this project, if I blow it because I can't keep my hands off some man who can't keep his hands off me. It's only because I am so singularly attracted to you. I like it that you think that way. I just don't want that to be the only thing that you think of me. Oh, come on. You know, that's not right. I think a lot more. Simon, didn't you need that money to pay the suppliers? Look, I already owe them so much money already, a few thousand is not going to make a dent. Besides, I could see with Gwen, it made a difference. So, are we still... Shut up and paint. So, come on, what do you think? Are we done? I think we're done. What is that incredible smell? Oh, I'm doing a test run of the hors d'oeuvres. I've got enough to feed an army, so just hope that an army of brokers comes through that door in a few hours. They will. So? What do you think? Are you kidding me? The place looks amazing. We should double our asking price. And by the way, I've noticed these before. I like the homey touches. Yeah, I thought you might. But didn't this go out with the uh, silent movie period? This is a retro building, Simon. Ah. We want to exude sophistication and a, a hint of old-fashioned romance. We'll all settle for a hint of cold, hard cash. Did you say cold? Cold, green, crisp. Simon. Yep, enough to throw around on something frivolous when we're done. You gotta see this. Simon! Look. Nice storm this time of year. Do you notice anything else? Uh, well, it's pretty dark out there. The only lights are around here. The power must have gone out every place else. The roads must be impossible. It's gonna make it pretty difficult for the realtors to get here, don't you think? Oh, my God, I do not believe this. The whole town's under glass. Well, at least we still have power. Those real estate brokers may show up yet. How, my dog sled? Ah, uh, greed is a great motivator. Simon, my entire financial future is buried under an inch and a half of ice, and there is nothing I can do about it. Now, who do you think that I ticked off in a past life? Uh, I don't know, but I'll bet it was a guy. <laughs> well, let's turn on that. Fancy sound system. See if you can get a weather report, huh? Where's it? Ah. The airport is shut down due to current conditions. Over a half million customers are without power. The governor has declared a state of emergency and ordered all non-emergency vehicles off the roads. Oh, no. I know. Simon, so, mean, you don't suppose that the, the brokers are 
driving around in emergency vehicles, do you? Not likely. Uh... So then this whole night, all of this work, it's just it's been for nothing then. Oh, come on. Here we are. We're stuck in a in a five-star penthouse surrounded by all the creature comforts to get us through the storm. That's hardly nothing. I don't want creature comforts. I want my open house. No cell service. I'm sure you kids are fine. There was Jack, right? The man's a cop. He knows how to handle himself in an emergency. Yes. I'm sure he's been called into work. So he would have put them in good, safe hands. What if they're on the road? Jack has them in one of those emergency vehicles. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're probably right. Yeah, they're probably roasting hot dogs on an open fire, playing games by candlelight as we speak. You know what? Speaking of food, I am famished. Well, how can you think about food right now? My survival instinct just kicked in. Uh, are those puffy things? I'm going to go check on the puffy things. Why? Why is this happening? Oh, come on, you know what the news is like. They blow everything out of proportion, so people get upset and the ratings go up. I'm sure the worst is over. I mean, it's a disaster out there. Only an idiot would risk life and limb to come and lay a few bucks down on a condo. Well, luckily, the world isn't short of a few idiots. Just face it. Tonight is a bust. Complete failure. Oh, come on. There is no such thing as failure. Just delayed success. Yeah. Delayed for how long? A day? A year? The rest of my life? Oh, it's just weather. Tell that to my checking account, OK? All right. You know what? If everything was so bad, then why do we still have power? Come here, come here, come on. Come over here. Now, we are going to put some music on, ladies' choice. <laughs> and then we are going to sit here until the storm blows over and we'll reschedule the open house in a day or two. OK? See? Now things could be a hell of a lot worse. <sighs> Let there be light. Here you go. And perfect. Really? Yep. I've been stuck in a hell of a lot worse places than this, trust me. You hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm dirty. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. All right, you know what? You need to relax. You need to go in there and take a long, hot shower. And put these grubby clothes back on? No, thank you. Oh, well, you can always put this on. Sorry, man. This cost $400, OK? We're going to put that back. Oh, you are worth a lot more than that. <laughs> it's meant to dress the apartment, not me. It's an accent piece. Well, I have a feeling it will accent mm -hmm. you a lot better than this apartment. Mm -hmm. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Well, me? Mm -hmm. well, being stuck in a gorgeous penthouse apartment with a beautiful woman? No, enjoy is too tame a word, Carly. I'm relishing every second of it. And you know what? I think you are too. Feeling better? Well, you're looking better. Darling, you look a vision. <laughs> so what do you think of this jacket? It's a perfect fit, right? It's almost like you had me in mind when you bought it. It's getting worse out there. I can't say the same in here. <clears throat> uh, you see, you see champagne and candlelight, and I see debt. Mountains of it piling up out there with all that ice. You see, you've lived in the practical world far too long. Kids will keep you practical. Even on a night like this? Especially on a night like this. You worry about them. You hope that they're safe and warm, and that they're not afraid. Carly, they're safe, they're warm, and they're excited because they have the day of school tomorrow. <laughs> That's just icing on their cake. Just wish we could get a weather report, you know? Um, okay, uh, cold, wet, and, excuse me, icy. Yeah, how's that? How do you do that? It's just a nice storm. It's just a busted open house. It's just a couple hundred thousand dollars, give or take a comma. Oh, surrender. That's the secret. If you can't change it, 
Why not enjoy it? You know something, Simon? You could rub off on a girl. Oh. Is that an invitation? These clothes were supposed to give the illusion of romance. Oh, see, that's where you're wrong, Carly. See, romance is an illusion. It's... it's real. I'm very glad that I have you here to tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> Because I really missed that in a man. So tell me something. What is Simon Fraser's idea of romance, huh? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. See, uh, romance is a man and a woman looking for warmth in a cold and frozen world. It's like a ghost town down there. Yes, it is. It's eerie, isn't it? Being so cut off from the world? Well, maybe tonight was meant to happen. Excuse me? Oh. You want my version of romance, Carly? Well, this is where it begins. Now corner of the world, sparkling like a diamond. Nothing to sustain us but champagne. Oh, Simon, and will you shut up and kiss me?